So today we are talking about changing dimensions of a figure and how does that relate to the area and perimeter of those figures. So as you can see on the board, I draw, drew a couple figures. The first one is a square with the sides length two. So let's talk about what the area and perimeter are. So the area we know is the amount of square units that's inside the figure. So in a square, we know that our area is determined by length times width. So in this case, it's two times two, which is four units squared. The perimeter is the distance around this square. And we know that a square, all of our sides are equal. So we have four times two, which is eight units. Okay. So let's look at this square. It's obviously bigger. And I'm telling you it's a square. I'm going to tell you that each side is six. So we're multiplying each side by three, the length to go from here. So our scale factor is three. So let's look at what happens with the area of this. So it is the length times the width. So it's six times six. This is now 36 units squared. Let's look at the perimeter. And we know it's a square, the distance around. So it's four times six which is 24 units. All right, so if I have a scale factor of three, I'm multiplying each of these dimensions by three to get my new dimension. Look what happens. Let's look at perimeter first, the distance around. The small square is eight units. The big square is 24 units. How is eight related to 24? If I multiply 8 times 3, I get 24. Hmm, look at that. So I multiplied it by 3. Now, look, let's look at the area. The area of the small square is 4 square units. The area of the big square is 36 square units. So I had to multiply this times 9. Let's think about that. The perimeter I multiplied by 3. The area I had to multiply by 9. How is 3 related to 9? Well, 3 squared is 9. So when we're talking about square units, when we change the dimensions by a scale factor, the new area will be multiplied by the square of whatever that factor is. Sounds a little confusing, but the more you do it, the, the easier it'll get. All right, so I have a rectangle here. It's a four by eight rectangle. So we know that the area is length times the width. So eight times four, which is 32 square units. Let's look at the perimeter. Now this one, the distance around, so it's 2 times 4 plus 2 times 8. So if I do my PEMDAS, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 8 is 16, so I get 24 units. So now I have a smaller rectangle. I am going to tell you that this is a 1 by 2 rectangle. So I am dividing each of these lengths by four. So let's look at the area. It is two times one, which is two units squared. And then I am going to do the perimeter. And we know that it is two times two plus two times one. So that's four plus two, which is six. All right. So let's look at what we what we what we're doing here. I decrease this from four to one and from eight to two. I divide it by four. I divide it by four to go from the original to the new. Look what happens to the perimeter. Twenty-four to six units. That is dividing by four. Let's look at how 
the area is related. My original area is 32 square units. My new area is 2. I had to divide by 16. How is 4 related to 16? Ah, 4 squared, 4 times 4, is 16. When we work with square units with area, we either increase or decrease this by that scale factor squared. Now it's time to practice.